Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to use our pets to get more views. Yay! Isn't that right, Jasmine? And I'm bored. Thank you for joining our family. We're happy you're here. Good morning everybody. So, I still feel like crap. <laughs> so normally we do not ever retake a video, but today she forced me to retake it. Do you know why? Because she's a dick. I'm working on it. Get off me. Anyway. <clears throat> so I figure I still sound a little hoarse. Sorry, we're being a little shaky. Um, so I'm trying my best today. So we had a good business meeting yesterday. We're still not done. Uh, we still got a few things we need to talk about. Thankfully, everything's kind of falling into place. I'm pretty happy. When you say so, sweetie. Yes. So if we, I mean, we could finish this year off really good. Here's hoping. It, it was not a good uh, start. I would say. We wanted it to be. We did. Um, you know, some things are just out of your hand, and as yep. much as you want to try, but I feel like. Having a good plan and like a good like, you know, feeling like there are good, clear steps to success or like steps to, you know, what we want to achieve. Having a good attitude. Um, you know, steering your ship with positivity is a good way to, um... She's in love with Stephen Carell. <laughs> is a good way to like gain momentum and like accomplish things and stuff like that. I agree. <clears throat> So today we're going to try to get our button gear. We wanted to uh, do at least two walks to the beach and down to the beach, mm -hmm. which is actually a fairly uh, decent walk. I actually am dressed. Yes. Sorry, it doesn't look like this for me. <laughs> I have a sleeveless mm -hmm. camisole on. I am naked. Mm -hmm. For your pleasure. No, you're not. You're allowed to have your shirt up. I just had to clarify that I had the shirt on. Um. So yeah, we're starting to eat healthier. We got uh, good chicken sawing up there. Yay. Yay. Uh, going to have, I believe we're going to do uh, chicken and broccoli tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so, still trying to figure out if we need a third side or not, or if that's good. But I was thinking that myself. Uh, you know, uh, to bring up a good point again, well, I don't know if you want to say like a good point, but bringing up a reason why we're also trying to eat well is uh, we're trying to take away any reasons why we st are going to stay kind of uh, infertile, fighting the infertility. Uh, we're not in a situation that is a permanent infertility. It's uh, hopefully not. Yes, fighting PCOS, and um, you know there's a lot of things that can hurt your chances of ever having a child. And we're trying to fight every single one of them. One of them, of course, that can really help is being healthy, eating healthy, being active. And, um, you know, we also want to be very healthy for one day for our kids. To run around with them. Um, you know, I think it was, what, Shay Carl who wrote, uh, or had ghost wrote, uh, had a ghost writer write that book, Fat Dad, Fat Kid. Yeah. I don't know, him and Gavin wrote it, but with the assistance of a ghost writer, yeah, they yeah. said... I have not read it, but I, I did hear him talk about it one time. It came out on my birthday. I dropped hints, but I did not get that wrapped I up. I was broke. <laughs> Plus, I still don't know what a Shea Carl is. What the heck are Shea Tards? Our two subscribers just left. I'm <laughs> sure they're Shea Tards. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, um... So I, I'd like, I'm actually interested in reading that book. I think it has an uh, interesting concept. Yeah, does fat dad equal fat kid? Fat son, right? It's fat dad, fat kid is the title of the... Oh, yeah, but like, even the concept, like, does fat dad equal fat son? Something like that. Um, unless I'm completely off. I am so sorry if I'm off. I will read that book one day and try to correct myself if I'm wrong. But I feel like it's an interesting concept. Whenever I was trying to help a lot of people lose weight, uh, very into martial arts, and just really trying to help people, 
this kind of concept kind of brought up a lot. Uh, people often blame the genes of the parents uh, for their fat child. That, hey, we're fat, our kids are fat. We have problems, so our kids are having problems. But the reality is, is that usually your kids are going to eat what you eat. And that right, we. That's actually like from like the like the little sample that I've read on the website and the book. That's like what a lot of the book is about. Like it's not necessarily. I mean, from what I understand, not necessarily about genes, but more like. Do you know what I mean? Like about like setting a good example, mm-hmm. for your. Um, offspring and things like that in the sense that like you know if I'm eating pizza dipped with ranch and like jumping for the Doritos as my snack of choice every day like that's what my kids are gonna do Yep. they just follow suit and like me um, you know this won't just help our help fight our infertility this what what's up nothing she's poking the camera to just be a dick well it's my double chin I just want you to like get it out of the shot anyway um <laughs> Like, you know, e- even that, even if, you know, we're successful and everything goes smooth after we visit our doctor again, after doing everything we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. We um, have a appointment on um, February 17th for our ultrasound. But, you know, even if it's not that case, um, I, I, I want my kids to have good eating habits. I don't want my kids uh, guzzling Coke. Um, I actually don't think I drink as much pop as I let on or eat as bad as a lot of people I know. Mm-hmm. But, you know, their genes do play an effect. I've seen, like, my brother, he eats total garbage, and he was never fat. I ate uh, less than anyone in my family, and not as bad as a person would say. It wasn't great, but it wasn't stuff that should have built fat. I was the fat kid in the family. Um... It was just in my nature to, for some reason, have an easier time gaining weight. Uh, I was able to learn how to fight it, even, like, still having a little Coke here and there, a little McDonald's once in a great, great while. But, like, I want to cut it all out. I don't want my kids seeing me eat, eating McDonald's or drinking Coke. Um, you know, there's such a thing as, like, moderation. But some things are hard to keep in moderation. When you agree, sweet? I would. Or, like, not that it's hard to keep it in moderation. It's just so easy to fall into the habit. Like, once you start getting in the habit of, like, you know, picking up Funyuns at the gas station, like, you're going to pick up Funyuns every time you go to the gas station. So it's not that it's, like, I don't know. Like, like when I think about it, I don't necessarily think that, like, it's hard to moderate. It's more just, like... It's so easy to re-jumpstart a habit. Mm -hmm. And go ahead. ahead. No, I was just saying, so I feel like just for me and, like, my, I don't want to say character flaw, but just, like, my addictive personality, it's just better not to assume that I can be reasonable and moderate. Mm -hmm. It's just probably best to try to, like, remove and conquer. (laughs) Yep, that's true. Um... So I'm taking, like, a lot of my old advice that I used to give. A lot of it, I think, is actually doing fairly well for us. Um, of course, still, like, we're fighting with, uh, with a lot of issues. Thankfully, the doctor is helping uh, you. He's like, there's some issues that we were not going to be able to just fix. Yeah, if you've watched, like, um, you know, Ellie and Jared mm-hmm. are another family that vlog. They have, or she was found to have PCOS, and she's very skinny Mm -hmm. um so you know it's not just like an overweight thing no it it, um but that is something that i also suffer from that can be an additional deterrent so you want to try to get you know cancel out all the variables that you can so then you can have a medical professional deal with the thing that you can't just remove yeah. That makes sense. As much as I love to say that we can fight every disease or every issue with just nature, sometimes we need somebody who is more educated in uh, in that area to help us fight nature's little punishment. <laughs> Thank you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That uh, PCOS is definitely not that, but like it, it's not exactly something we create either. More just natural. Anyway. No, but um, it is something that you can, like, worsen. So I'm trying to do what I can on my end. So we're trying to do 
uh, the best we can naturally. We're kind of tr uh, doing the best we can thankfully using what the doctor gives us. And now it looks like we can start to actually move forward with our goal and we're starting to see a little bit here and there. We're going towards it. Mm -hmm. um, I always uh, would talk to some of my uh, students, some of the people I would work with, that whenever you're struggling with uh, eating healthy, that, you know, it's, it's very hard. It's like, oh, McDonald's is so much better than broccoli. I won't lie. It is. But that doesn't mean that it can't be good. Uh, I like to think of Colin as becoming like a foodie. There's so many home-cooked recipes that you can make that is amazing. Have fun with it if you can. Like, you don't have to go expensive with it. You don't gotta, like, buy a thousand dollar ingredient. Have fun with it. You can come up with some good recipes. Like, home cooking can beat out fast food. We've learned how to make it fun, and I feel like that makes it easier for us to, like, choose to cook at home when we, like, make it fun. Yeah. And try new things. So one thing I do want to try to do for us, um is kind of like trying a lot more new recipes mm -hmm. maybe show them off to you guys hopefully uh we can share some recipes here and there it's not gonna become a recipe channel don't worry um it's more just really it's part of our life we're trying to do whatever we can to like have good food oh oh in the eye i am so sorry hold on we'll be right back technical difficulties oh. Okay, so here we are on our second late night walk. <laughs> um, we're not going to show it all because like, it's getting so dark so fast. I mean, welcome to Oregon. Winter. Uh, we get dark quick. Is it considered winter right now? Um, I think we're like in the dead of winter or like... I can't remember if every day is now getting like lighter. But you can't tell right now. Not that late, before. Yeah, so we're probably going to just do like a 30 second clip out here. Maybe go back into the house, cook something like we were talking about before. By the way, she lost an eye. <laughs> How's the eye doing, sweetie? What? How's the eye doing? I think, um, after I like calmed my freak out down, I don't actually think she made contact. Mm -hmm. I think I was just so like on the defense because like she really busted my face last yeah. time she did that well i'm glad you're okay me too um it is getting very wet out so i think i'm gonna turn the camera off we're gonna get going we are not letting rain stop our mission this is my public service announcement if him and i can do it with this annoying dog and this gloom and droom and rain and cold etc you can do it too. By the way, look at this dog. Last time I think we showed her on the leash, she was going nuts. Look at this well-behaved dog. All that time, all that personal attention and training. And now she's about to trip mommy. Thank you for acting like a dick at the last second of the clip. I am done. So we are back, we are rehydrating. Mm -hmm. We are live. We have some chicken in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, healthy chicken, yay. What else are we going to do? What else are we going to do? What um, else are we going to do? That's great. We're going to Red Velvet Oreo. No, those are not mine. <laughs> um, I'm going to steam some buckets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, honey, I forgot, I forgot what a thing of natural broccoli looks like. I thought that was a bell pepper. <laughs> I was like, what's his grandma? Here's like, this looks like a bell pepper. I'm going to take it out of the bag. Bell pepper. Don't be rude. That's gonna be the intro. Yummy, yummy. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. Yummy, yummy. That's exactly mm -hmm. like a thumbnail of you holding it and going to be like in big letters. Bell pepper. I don't know what peaches are either. Anyone who's actually watching these videos will know that. <laughs> We're not smart people. No, we are not. Warning, watching us will lower your IQ about 50 points. So if it's below 50, you're now dead. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> but she laughed, like she laughed. She, <laughs> she laughed and then she was like, That's not funny, Marcus. That's not somebody. funny. You're gonna get struck down by lightning. The boom, by the power of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. So, do we want to say anything else today? We 
we do not want to be preachers. We want to be what? I, I point your vagina. What is it showing? No. What are you pointing at? Your UTI. Stop it. What I was going to say is that we don't want to be preachers. We want to be like example makers. So we don't want to just like t- tell you guys what to do. We actually want you to join us as we do it and like do it with us. Do you know what I mean? Like, so we're eating the healthy stuff. We're not just preaching about it. Mm-hmm. We're trying to forego the airheads and the Funyuns. Mm-hmm. Not just tell you to do it. That's not mine. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling the truth, believe it or not. I've been really struggling the last couple of days with what I think is, like, a UTI. Um, because, like, my bladder area has been hurting really bad. It's been, it's been a struggle. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've Googled it and kind of, like, have some of those symptoms. Yeah. Um, my mom thinks I'm pregnant. She always thinks you're pregnant. She's not saying that you've been pregnant for, like, two years now she, before I ever, like, did anything to you. She before I ever did anything. <laughs> she really wants to be a grandma. She's like, you know, pregnant people have to pee all the time too. Are you mm-hmm. sure? Is there a possibility? You should go ask. Pregnant people also sneeze. You sneeze, you're pregnant. Look, oh my god, I'm I'm, I'm blinking. I'm totally pregnant. <laughs> I wish. I'm not making a joke. We, well, I'm not trying to make a joke, but like I'm not being like insensitive. Like we are struggling through infertility. That's how I deal with my emotion is by trying to make... Like, not make light of it, but try to make it lighter and not, like... <laughs> um, growing up in my house, uh, we, deal, we, we dealt with, like, a lot of crap. And my grandmother always taught us, who raised me, you have to smile or you'll die. And she literally told us, you have to smile or you'll die. She didn't give any context. We believed if we didn't smile, we were going to die. And she'd also tell us other things, like, if you don't do this, you're going to die. If you go outside, you're going to die. If you play with a neighbor boy, you're going to die. If you cross the street, dead so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, I've always learned to laugh, and um, sometimes it can be like in a opportune moments. So it doesn't mean that I don't understand the gravity of the situation. Is that we've learned if we don't laugh, the stress of it will just keep picking up. And um, well, I, I had some issues when I was a teenager. Um, a lot of bad thoughts. I could have went into a bad direction. Came very close to a few times. So uh, it's yeah. always better to laugh. And Google says that stress can affect the pH of your vagine. So she I'm let, trying to stay happy. Well, let me like look and see what I'm doing so I have no idea if I'm getting her or if I'm getting like up her nose. Don't worry, I would let you know. Doesn't he realize that if it was a bad shot, I would, he'd be the first one to know so that he could fix it? Well, she yells at me, and then she's like, you cannot use that clip. And then I use that clip, and then, like, I sleep on the couch. That is a fib. You've never not my, slept in your bed. My neck has been so sore. It's not you even funny. I have been having so much trouble turning the left of the last few weeks. She won't let me sleep on the bed. He's full of poop. He's been trying to make me work on my profanity, but he makes me drive to cursing. He's full of shit. <laughs> he drives me to curse. I love this man. Happy National Spouse Day. I'll let you be my spouse a little bit longer. <laughs> Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for joining our laughs and understand that we're just trying to be happy. We're glad you're here. Bye.